Digging for the sake of history. If you're in Manatee Mineral Springs Park, you'll notice an archaeological dig site. The city of Bradenton paid 100 grand for a historic preservation group to explore the area before the Bradenton Riverwalk expansion moves in. Our 10 News' Candace Avilas shares what they found. I'm here now at the archaeological dig site for the recovering history near the Manatee Mineral Springs project. And here's what they found so far. Pieces of ceramic and glass, chunks of metal, and also this bolt right here. So the goal of the project is to find more evidence of people who have lived here in the past. Everyone from the freedom-seeking people of Angola to the Anglo-American pioneers who helped create the village of Manatee. We kind of discovered a line of nails um, and potential structure. Sifting through dirt, the team slowly finds historical clues. That is part of a nail. Sherry Svekis is one of the leaders of the historic preservation group, Reflections of Manatee, spearheading the project. So we are in the middle of an archaeological site that is here because right over there across the field is the Manatee Mineral Spring. And the Manatee Mineral Spring was home to all the peoples who have ever lived in this area. Her team, including archaeologists at New College of Florida, have only a month to find as many pieces of history as they can before the area gets turned into the new Bradenton Riverwalk expansion. It's just a sh shirt of ceramic. Her team works diligently. Here's what they found so far. Clay pipes that um, are before the use of cigarettes, and so they always date to the early 1800s. And then we find ceramics, so we find pottery. And just as it does today, what people like in pottery changes over the time period and the manufacturing techniques, so we can date those things. She hopes when they share what they find, people can better understand the rich history of the area. Clay pipes, huh? That's interesting, some of the yeah. stuff they'll find. And by the way, if you want to know what they actually found, they're going to show you if you come out on January 20th, that's MLK Day, they'll give you a more in-depth look at the history of the various groups of people who have called Manatee County home.